Hi, I'm Josh Sayani and I'm going to give a preview of Windows 7. I've been using the pre-beta version since a week. It is the build 6801 distributed at PDC 2008. So let's take a preview at Windows 7. I have installed Windows 7 on a basic notebook with an average configuration just to check the potential of Windows 7. Here I have a Compact Presario M2000. It's powered by Intel Centrino 1.6 GHz and it has 2 GB of RAM. Now let's see how Windows 7 works on this one. First we'll see how much time it takes to completely boot and start up Windows. Now I'll power on the machine. Here we have a new startup screen. This is the same Vista logo. It's crossed one minute. Here it states Windows 7 Ultimate Edition. This is the new desktop. So it takes around 1 minute 20 seconds to boot up and log in if you have a password. And it would take an additional 10 to 15 seconds if you have some startup items loaded. Once the desktop is loaded, you'll notice that the gadgets on the sidebar are now not on the sidebar and you can move them anywhere on the desktop. Also, a new feature in Windows 7 is the new sticky notes. You have a pad where you can paste one or more notes. When you double click, you'll come into the edit mode where you can edit the note. Here's the text that I had entered on the note. So now I can click on the plus symbol to add a new note and then just type this is Windows 7 and when I close the notes they'll appear here and then I can go back and forth to see the notes besides the new desktop gadgets and the sticky notes the desktop looks similar to the Windows Vista desktop except your username, you will see a libraries icon here. This is similar to the libraries in Mac OS. And you have all your desktop icons. The taskbar is also similar to the Windows Vista taskbar. Except you have, instead of the left and right arrows, you will find the up and down arrows. And you will be able to customize your system tray contents. You could launch your items from the extra options and also you could customize what's on the system tray.
Now when you go to libraries, you'll find a new set of icons. These are different from the Windows Vista icons. Another thing about libraries is you can customize what folders should it display in the documents. Here you'll see a bar which says documents library and it will show three library locations. When you click on the three library locations, you will get a box through which you can customize what folders you want to display in your documents. Right now it's displaying my personal documents, my public documents and my sticky notes. You could also add folders from your external hard drive that can display in your documents library. Similarly, you can also customize the downloads. If you have a downloads folder on your external drive, you can add it here. So this is a good feature through which you can have control of all your folders through the libraries. Again, the My Computer is the same. Except here you have the network locations in My Computer instead of My Network Places. In Windows 7, you also have a new home group feature which allows you to share your files and folders and multimedia with other computers on the network. When you go to Network and Sharing Center and when you connect to your network now I'm connected you will see a home group feature here it shows home group is joined when you click on joined it shows what do you want to share on your network I have shared all the shared libraries of my pictures music documents and videos and you can also share your personal pictures and documents another change that I found in Windows 7 is the new disk defragmenter the defragmenter used in Windows XP and Vista was different than the Windows 7 defragmenter. The new defragmenter is very simple and easier to use. And you can also schedule defragmentations. However, here when you defragment your drive, you would not be able to see the graphic of the sectors of the hard drive, the fragmented and the unfragmented sectors. When you have several windows open such as my computer, libraries, music and when you want to switch to the desktop you could just use the new strip at the end of the taskbar which says show desktop. When you click on the strip it hides all your windows and takes you back to your desktop. Besides the small new changes the major changes that you would find is in paint and wordpad where the ribbon user interface of office 2007 is implemented there are also a few more changes in paint like you have several new brushes added another application is wordpad it has also got the new ribbon user interface and you have formatting options stacked up in the ribbon UI rest it's the same old wordpad Microsoft has also added a new Windows Media Player 12 to this version of Windows this is the old view of the media player now when you click on this square box at the bottom of the media player you will shift to the light mode where you will have a small little player and you could see the playlist add files to it and you could play a music file and go back to the main view so this was the new windows media player so this was Windows 7 and let's see what new changes come to the newer builds. Thank you for watching.